Hi all, hope you all are doing good. So there is this 25 series of tasks uh, which is given to us uh, like one task a day by TryHackMe uh, with the name Advent of Cyber 2. So if you are already familiar, that's excellent. If you are not, it's just that we have to complete one task a day and by the end of the Christmas, we should have uh, come, uh, we should be like completed with this uh, complete lab, Advent of Cyber 2. So today is like 11th day is going on, but I have not started yet. So today I'm going to do the task one. Okay. So if you are very new, you have never used to try hack me. You can see the previous videos of this play same playlist and yeah, we can proceed. So as of now, if you can see, I am not connected. Let me refresh. So if you don't know how to connect, just click on this. And because I'm already on Kali Linux, I'll simply download the open vpn and then i can use for open vpn okay so uh, this is like i am not connected as of now so let me open i have simply created one christmas try hack me in which we will maintain all our nodes so let's go to our terminal and if i click on ls you can see i have already downloaded my open vpn connection so sudo open vpn let me zoom this a bit now i hope it is visible and then d point okay and password and we'll wait for this to complete so yeah sequence completed now if i refresh here i go so i'm connected now so task one task one is just an introduction so let's just join the room and okay it's loading join yeah completed and then second second third all is just if you are not connected to social media handles you can connect to them and till uh, fourth i think even this is fine now in the fifth story they are simply telling us what is the story actually happening so in the story we are um, my pronunciation max kiddie okay so me and one more partner we were taking care that uh, centers infrastructure network plans everything are uh, remain intact throughout the month but there was some mishappening uh, happened last uh, year december so this time we mckinsey have taken a note that i'll take care of everything okay uh, the security wise infrastructure wise everything that santa needs so that is our promise and we have to uh, like take care of all these things but now uh, it seems like by the end of this uh, story there is some issue happening so that's how the story begins and this story will be part of day to day task day one day two and so on okay so it seems that uh, somehow other people are able to bypass our vpn and they are uh, disturbing santa's plan so that's the whole story now we'll simply move on to our task so here is where our task starts okay so first let's deploy the machine and it will take nearly one minute to show the IP address. So meanwhile, what we can do is, okay, let me open this terminal. I don't need this. So let me open one more and LS, let me open, get into Christmas. And the first thing we need to make sure is we have something called nodes. Okay. And then if you don't have sublime, please do install it. Or if you have any, if you work with any other editor, that's also fine. So I'm opening my nodes with sublime and let me clear everything mm -hmm. i don't need this so okay I, i'll get this ip address which which will be my remote host but as of now the one that i have is my local host so it's 10920517 it's my virtual machine so even if it is visible to you that's fine it will get reset okay so let me open this so we'll uh, okay let's just make a note local host is nothing but 10920517 and remote host will get in a moment okay so yeah shows in awesome so let's just copy this and let's open this like we can uh, do nmap and all if required let's see okay so here the explanation of HTTP is cookies and all is given. Okay. So deploy. Yes, we have deployed and that's why we are getting this IP addresses. So let's just complete this. Okay. 
in the hint also let's see make sure you are using ip of the okay they are simply telling us to connect so i hope this is if 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 it's run if it's a website uh, and the default port is 80 then we should get something like meanwhile let's try to do a ping mm -hmm. so ping is not happening something wrong let me check control shift i have config tunnel zero yeah i have only one tunnel so let me wait for this ping to happen so what is the name of the cookie used for authentication okay so this is something that uh, we have to find in the first uh, first thing that is given to us to find out so okay anyway this is taking time so meanwhile let's just try to do the nmap okay control shift but if ping is not happening nmap will also not open let me problem loading page okay let me just refresh this again 10 10 55 175 yeah that is what we got so if ping is not working then nmap and all will not work okay so let's try to uh, okay i refreshed it just now let me try to ping again mm -hmm. ping 10 10 55 175 yes so we'll wait for the ping to happen first then we can continue or else let's try to open this with the default ports like we can try with 80 or 80 80 mm -hmm. 80 is also same i don't know whether this is working 80 80 okay so it was somehow took some time to work for to work this ping and since ping is working now i think we are good so in between what i did is i did the I stopped the terminal and I started it again so I got a new IP address but again the issue was same so it might be the thing that if you are trying after some days or like today or tomorrow then maybe you will get the same problem so just wait for some time and like two to five minutes then you will get it so the only thing that changed is our remote host so I'm just replacing this and let's close all the other unnecessary things and open okay so no, the first thing that was asked by us is that we need to check out what is the name you uh, what is the name of the cookie used for authentication okay so if i go here i don't have any user so let me just uh, uh, register something and f12 on clicking f12 i can see that there is no cookie as of now if i check in index dp or any other thing even there i also i'm not get, seeing anything okay so let's stick to this so i think okay please enter username and password user1 and password is also user1 so let me just register this okay uh, did not happen anything okay user1 and user1 now let me log in with that mm -hmm. let me just refresh this and register again user1 user1 register something is going on connection not secure yes because it is an http I refresh user one user one register mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know what is happening with the register let me try to log in with the same credentials okay so user one and then user one so f12 again i'll stick to this and log in nothing yeah it is loading something okay so we got some page uh, somehow the registered page was not loading but we can see the registration happened with the username and password called user one so dummy user i can say user one and user one okay so what i can see here is there is only one cookie with name auth and value something else okay so this is what they were asking us what is the name of the cookie used for authentication yes submit in what format is the value of the cookie encoded okay so let's first uh, close this unnecessary tab and copy the value of this cookie and what we can say is value of cookie 
okay if i maximize it here what i can say is uh, b is used to 6 d is used and the maximum thing is uh, that i can see is e okay so e b c all the letters along with numericals we we find it in not binary not octa we find it in hexadecimal so if i find something like g or h then i can say that okay it is not hexadecimal then maybe i need to find some too but as of now what i see is e a and the maximum is e so okay so what i can say is that it is of hexadecimal hexadecimal and let's just even use the hint as well so shorthand for binary okay fine makes sense now having decode the cookie what format okay now since we know it is hexadecimal decode hexadecimal okay so let's just go hex to text yes and okay so let me just get the value of this cookie value of auth cookie as of now we have only one so no confusion but going forward we'll have too many so copy the hex uh, no hex decode okay it is decoding something okay so what are we getting we are getting company and company name username and it's it, it is json okay so we, uh, it is asking what format is data stored in and we can see four characters which is like helping us okay so submit and let's just copy this value as well <laughs> json data okay now what is our next thing figure out how to bypass the authentication what is the value of santa's cookie okay so here uh, what i see is uh, username is user1 so what will be the okay so one thing is I just change the username and let's try to encode it to hexad. Okay, so let's see if we have that. No online hex encoder, yes. And here is my input hex encode. Okay, so here is my new encoded value. So let me just paste it here. Santa encoded value. Uh, let me zoom this a bit i hope now you can see so santa encoded auth value auth cookie value okay let me just do this and this is what we wanted so this is the santa's value and let me just paste it here submit and now that you are a santa user okay so i'm not a santa user as of now but i have the cookie value so to become a santa user i need to go here and i need to just double click on that delete that value and paste my santa cookie and just enter that so let me just refresh this because this cookie is not yet used by the server now when i replace the cookie and now when i'm trying to refresh i'm basically contacting the server so it considers me as though i am a santa okay now what it is saying what is the flag you are given when the line is fully active okay so there is some flag i'm going to get which i'm going to blur so that you can actually practices instead of copying the flag so what is the flag you are given when the line is fully active now where is the line okay uh, this is i think uh, not active so okay now it is active so maybe after i fully make everything active okay here i go so i got some flag anyway I'll, i'm going to blur this but let me paste it here and submit so yeah here we go so that the only flag that we were asked as part of task one so let me paste it here and all that we did today is task one so i hope like, this was pretty much easy because we did not use anything complex and generally we start with just directory exploration and uh, doing nmap and all but i think that was not required as part of task one so i'm just going to terminate this and i hope you enjoyed my explanation so if you like my explanation please do subscribe click on notification bell and uh, suggest in the comment sections if you have used any other kind of technique no, though it is a straightforward thing but still if you are doing something creatively please do mention that so that me or other users can even give it a shot okay so that's it for today let's try to complete all the tricks 
as of now to, uh, day 11 is going on and we are on day 1 so let's try to complete all the things as soon as possible that's it all today make the best use of what triacne is providing stay home stay safe and practice as much as possible thank you